Want first dibs on our holiday specials? Use coupon code HOLIDAY14. Save yourself 25% on all the items in our holiday collection. Only at AwesomeDrinks.com. Welcome to Comment Cocktails. I'm your host, Derek Schober, and I've got with me here Jennifer Schober. She hasn't been on the show for a while. Now, we're going to make a cocktail. This is for Fan Appreciation Week month. Fan month. Appreciation Month. This it's feels weird. Military Week. Military Week. I didn't get enough military submissions. I got two. Maybe three. I think I got three. Three. So that's still good. That's, that's pretty you do good. five shows. That's what? more than half. It's more than half. So that's like less than half. More than half. <laughs> right. And then what else did we? We. That's it. Let's just do this. So this recipe submitted by Andrew. We're gonna use. You can do the lime juice. Lime. And the coconut. So this drink is called the one seven seven five rum punch. <laughs> okay. Now make sure you pay attention. Wow. Rich simple syrup. Uh, so we're gonna use these ratios down here. Oh, come on now. Yeah, I know. But well, the problem is okay, when Andrew submitted this, it's just sugar. I know. Uh, it's, it's really frosting thick. Frosting now. Yeah, it is. It's frosting. What, so one we're ounce? gonna do a half ounce of lime juice. What are you doing? One ounce. One ounce of simple syrup. Yep. So we're gonna take these in ratio and we're gonna dial it back. You guys can make this at home with the recipe I'll put at the end of this video, which is an ounce of lime juice, two ounces of simple syrup, three ounces of dark rum, four ounces of pineapple juice, topped with nutmeg and a dash of uh, bitters. I'm gonna sure bitters or whatever. I'm gonna use wiggle. Do I come over it? Really? It's one ounce. Here's what you're fine. And. We're gonna just divide it all in half. That way I can fit it into a smaller little ball glass. There's only two of us. We don't need a punch. We're gonna be making five cocktails so in one taping, one Whoops. sitting. So, let's, do you want me to open this for you? My nails are all gross. My nails are all gross. <laughs> all the nail polish is chipping off of them. Well, don't put nail polish in my drink, please. No, I won't. Um, and a half. Yeah. So my lime's a little, getting a little ghetto here, but. It will, it will serve the purpose. All right. Whoosh. We're going to need an ounce of lime juice. So for that, I'm just going to do this entire lime. Oh, wait. No. We're going to do a half ounce because I cut everything in half. I'm going to squeeze this in your eye. No, I'm not like Liam. Two ounces of pine juice. Pine, pine juice? juice. <laughs> pine juice is awesome. You're going to wear it if you don't. Oh, really? I have a knife on this side of the table. Remember to half it. Right. We're gonna do two ounces. And I don't. What was the military week? Why was it? Was it not called? It's, we call it military appreciation week, appreciation week. Oh, Veterans Day or something. Yes, it's coming up. You're like on looking around. Tuesday. Enough. What are you looking for? A the napkin. That's behind this. Oh. Oh, really? Yeah. Look, when you're behind the the set, you're gonna get wet. <laughs> Thanks. No problem. I'm gonna shake this up. You know what we're gonna need? We're gonna need some ice in our drink hole here. So I don't the one seven seven five. I don't know why it's called. Yeah, <laughs> there's no soap in the shaker. There's no 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 no. And Ian's not here this entire week because in case he's you not haven't here. noticed. <laughs> I am not Ian. Nope. She's gonna stand with her little hand open like this though, because she doesn't want to touch anything. It's all sticky. <laughs> it is all sticky. We're gonna pour it over ice. Oh. Where's my uh, strainer? There it is. So, do you wanna do the honors of? Ooh, that looks weird. It's because we used unnatural pineapple juice. For, oh crap! You didn't put any bitters in there, did you? I didn't. No. No. All right. Dash of bitters. I'm gonna do two dashes because two is better than one. And we'll give it a stir. <laughs> oh, plus, they're aromatic, so you can smell them on the the top. So is this like his favorite drink or something, or um, it just was a drink? <laughs> bitters were in there. Uh, you, no, you can't touch that yet. This was not his favorite drink. I don't know if this is. It could be his favorite drink. This is. Uh, he's a marine and he submitted this, but he didn't okay. give me a backstory, so I don't really know. If he did give me a backstory, I lost it. There's a slight chance that could happen. Doesn't that look awesome, folks? Awesome. In 60p action right there. See the top of it, or 60 I'm frames per second. You can see a big old blue. That's right. That is by far, by the way, everybody, the the biggest comment I think I've ever had on the show ever, including like asking very simple questions of the day, including when I screw something up entirely, um, including when I change the set down here oh. from up here. 
everybody talking about, holy crap, it looks so realistic, 60 frames per second. What's wrong? I don't know. I don't know what I drank. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm moving closer. Why? Because you're like so far away. It doesn't make any sense. I'm not. I don't know. Here's your first alcoholic sip. You have to get over that. No, it wasn't alcohol. It was some nasty taste. Was it the bitters? Maybe. Were they on the ice cube? Maybe. Because I didn't taste it that time. There. Oops. I just drained really? it all the way down the side. I now try it. Pineapple juice. You're spilling everything. It's like a... It's a, a sherry pineapple juice, though. Like, um... Yeah, really sweet pineapple, pineapple juice. A little bit of a uh, bitter pineapple and lime. I think the lime. Lime? I don't get There's, any lime. No, I'm flat of the tongue a little bit, and right like right here got me. Well, uh, pineapple juice doesn't get me right here. Okay, you definitely feel it at the back of your tongue. Yeah, but yeah, dark rum, pineapple juice. You get dark rum. Mm. But you don't get, I get the... If you asked me what was in there, I'd say pineapple juice and sugar. <laughs> it does taste like pineapple juice and sugar. Uh, but but uh, it's because there's simple syrup in there. Well, but I if you made that. this, it, it would be a good large punch bowl drink because it doesn't, it tastes a lot like pineapple juice, a sweet pineapple juice with a little bit of sour tartness. But if you put that in a punch, I think it's approachable to a larger audience. Yeah. Where um, if you make something classy, you're going to get. Some people, I think, that wouldn't like it. So if you put it in a big bowl, I don't think it would be too bad. Basically, no, it's, it's not spiked, bad at all. It's, it's spiked just... pineapple juice. Right. Right. So you're gonna get just it, a it's, lot of pineapple juice. It's not. It doesn't have a, a a big dimension to it, but it's really easy to drink. Oh, one, two, three, four. What? One, two, three, four. Oh, uh, oh, oh. Why is it called one seven seven five? I don't know the answer to that, but... <laughs> maybe he might have said it, but he said he submitted his military appreciation week. He said he was a Marine. Um, Joe but Dokes is we his, thank you, his Joe. handle. Um, and I figured this would be a good way to start a week of episodes because I figured just from looking at the recipe it was going to be sweeter. Well, Tuesday, I believe, is Veterans Day. And this comes out on Tuesday. And this is Veterans Day. Yeah. So veterans can drink pineapple juice. But it, for us, since it starts well, no, the week, it's because it's got, marine and... This is a good intro drink for the night. Like, if you're going to start okay. a night of drinking, it's got the sweet... It, it's something to kind of get Definitely your palate sweet. moving. Um, sweet pineapple juice. With a little hint of lime. Hides that, all the alcohol taste. That's our question of the day. Really? Do we have a question of the day? When um, is the worst possible time you could be sick? Is that what somebody asked? Oh, yeah. Question of the day. When is the worst possible time you could be sick? Well, the worst possible time... Or the worst possible time you could be sick. When you're traveling... I was just going to say, the day before you get on an airplane. No, when you're traveling. Like, or if you like, had food yeah. poisoning, like, when you're traveling. Tell or... us your, your traveling sick stories. You don't have to necessarily say how you pooped all over the carpet in the bathroom or whatever. But, yeah. like, I have heard people who get, like, one guy I had Super heard a story sick. that he got really, he got the flu, and he couldn't fly. He couldn't even, you know, when you get really sick, you can't even get out of bed. Right. He basically just stayed in the hotel alone for, like, four days because he has nobody to help him. Cause yeah, no one's there. <laughs> you're, you're by yourself in a... You, there's nothing you could do. You probably just run down, grab a little bit to eat if you can get up. Yeah. It's not easy because it's no. not even like you can watch your own kitchen. You're going to usually go down an elevator right. and f find... No, that would be a pain in the neck. So what is your worst time for your, your sickness? When did you get down with the sickness? This is a disturb song. Yes. We're done. It wasn't lost on me. <laughs> First one in the books, Military Appreciation Week. First time on Common Man Cocktails that we've actually taken the time to reference. Appreciate the military. Appreciate the military, which we should probably do because if not, we could be killed by. We could be communists. Um, we could be communists or. Um, ISIL. <laughs> uh, yep, or uh, or just dead. We, we could walk, we could drive down the road to work and not worry about being bombed. Very true. That's pretty badass. So thanks to the military for that. Uh, and that's it. We're done. We are teaching how to drink. Citrus, but yet sweet and yet tart. Mm. Like a breakfast drink. Mm.